straight to the bus terminal say Nairobi where our reporter Mark Namaswa has been assessing the transport situation as students travel back to school in the wake of a night travel ban for public service vehicle. Mark, good morning. I understand you are joining us live from River Road. Talk to us about the tribulations of travelers, especially now in the wake of that night ban on the night travel on the PSVs. Now, Michelle, the transport operators we've been speaking to have been complaining about their need to have to change the schedule. Remember, uh, most of their vehicles, according to the Matatu people who have spoken to, their vehicles are uh, taken, uh, they were bought using loans, and they're saying that the travel ban that was uh, imposed by NTSA that bans the night travels uh, along long distances has really impacted on their way uh, or their means of uh, paying back the loans. But again, those ones that are hit hard are mainly travelers. And remember, right now, schools are opening. People are coming into cities like uh, Nairobi, Mombasa, heading there to work. And right now, they cannot travel at night. They have to travel during the day. And this is, this is making uh, travel arrangements very complicated. Now, we are at River Road at the booking offices of uh, Tahmid Bus Services, one that plies uh, anchoring from Mombasa to other cities across East Africa. And and uh, we join one of the uh, managers of Tahmid, uh, Ali Mansur, to tell us exactly uh, how things are now running, uh, given that NTSA has banned night travel. Hebu tueleze mnajipanga kivipi sasa watu wa safiri usiku. Kujipanga kwetu nabidi tuwe hamisha wale watu wa mbao tuli wakatia ticket za usiku wapate kusafiri asubui. Lakini nayo ni changamoto. Kwa ajili, kuna mwingine anabuku wakati yuko on the road, Mungine anabuku yuko amekuja ofisini na mungine anabuku online. Tasa unajua kwa kuminiketu wote hao kweza kueleza kwa mkuna mbadiliko kwa nakuwa na changamoto yake. Lakini tunajaribu kuifesi yu changamoto kutokana na kwamba inabidi tufuate ile amri ambayo imetolewa na serikali au NTSA. Tueleze sasa unazapata wasafiri wamekwama Mombasa ama Nairobi ama miji mingine kwenye afisi zenyu mnawasaidia vipi masuala ya kusafiri usiku Kwa ambao walokwama wengi tumeshawapelekea messages za kusema kwamba kuna mabadiliko na kutokana na kwamba amri yenyewe imekuja ghafla tu namna hivi ilibidi jana tufanye kazi ya ziada kuweza nini kuwakusanya wale watu waweze kuondoka kwa wakati ule wa asubuhi lakini kuna watu wengine ambao jana wali miss. Kwa hivyo pia hatukuwatupa tumeweza kuwabeba kwa wakati huu. Ndio vile unavyoona pale tunafanya checking na makata na maticket zao ili kuweza kuconfirm kwamba hatumwachi mtu yote ambaye amefanya advance booking. Yeah. Ashule zinafunguliwa kilio cha wanafunzi mmewasaidia vipi? Wanalala kwa basi wanawapatia mahali mbadala pa kupumzika ukingoja masaa ya kusafiri yafike? inapotukuta kwamba tushawaarifu wa, wa, madereva wetu anapoona kwamba kumebakia masaa fulani kumebakia masaa fulani kufika kwenye station ana uhakika kufika station ambapo atapata huduma yoyote ile basi tunamadvise asiendelee zaidi pale time imefika ni asimame aweke pawe mahali pana huduma ya choo pana huduma ya maji pana huduma ya vyakula vyakula kuokota na nyakati kama hizi huona wahudumu wa, wa, wa mabasi wanasemekana wanapata faida uh, mambo haya ya uh, marufuku ya usafiri wa usiku yameathiri vipi faida, faida zenu yametuathiri vikubwa sana kuanzia ile tarehe ambayo actually ilo, ilo tangazo ya tarehe moja ilibidi kusiwekwa na usafiri wa aina yoyote therefore hatukufanya booking except kwamba nini kuangalia wale ambao tayari tushawafanyia booking sisi kwa hivyo siku nzima hiyo imagine if you are moving about 15 20 17 18 buses in a day alafu ghafla uje ustopishwe unakuwa kwa hali gani unakuwa na matatizo ah, kwa maoni yako ni mikakati ipi ingefanywa katika masuala ya kujaribu ku, kuleta usalama kuboresha usalama barabarani uh, mbali na marufuku ya usafiri wa usiku mimi ninachosema huo utaratibu ambao ulokuweko sio mbaya bali uongezwe utaratibu wa kwamba Imeshaonekana kwamba ni mabasi na malori ambayo yanayogongana pale. Kwa hiyo sasa kwa nini unakuja kubana mabasi peke yake? Na malori pia yao yanaban. Kuna wakati fulani pia na wao hawatembei. Kwa ajili kwanza sisi tunawasaidia wenye malori kutokana na kuwalinda. Tukitembea na wao usiku wakati wanaibiwa si ndio tunawajulisha nyuma kuna mwizi anaparaga kwenye lori yako. Tunawasaidia sisi. Kwa hivyo kama wao 
wanaweza pia kutembea mchana na watembezwe mchana kutokana na kwamba angalia kila mtu hapa alipo amejipanga mchana na kwa iko kazini alafu usiku ana travel kwenda zake kuangalia familia yake coast alafu ataka tuseme friday saturday sunday atashinda na, fa, na familia yake usiku atapanda gari anakuja hapa monday anaingia kazini unachoelewa sasa unapokuja kukozi namna hivi utakuwa anakaa kweli na familia yake na wakati ana majukumu mengi ya kimaisha ameacha familia yake kwa ajili ya nini kuboresha hali yake ya kimaisha lakini sasa hivi utakuwa hatumboreshi tena hali yake ya maisha itafutwe mbinu mbadala ambayo itaweza kutusaidia sote sio tu mwenye lori tu aachwe tu yeye atambe ni wote tutambe Yeah. Tunashukuru sana. Uh, Michelle just to get a picture of uh, the tribulations that travelers are going through. Let's join one of the people that were coming in from uh, Mombasa to give us a, her account of what transpired on her first attempt to travel last night. Uh tueleza unaitwa nani, unatoka wapi and uh, what have you gone through? Naitwa Judy. Mimi jana nilikuwa na travel kutoka Mombasa kuja Nairobi. Lakini sasa gari ka breakdown mtoto wa ndei tukaka hapo kutoka 1 mchana mpaka saa moja ilibidi tu travel na trailer yeah so i think the government should change the this ban of the tra- traveling at night they should ban they should change because more people are traveling from Mombasa going home going back to school going back to work they should change they are giving they, they are inconvenience to the people of Kenya so the government should change Okay other travelers might be interested how much were you paying and where were you heading to and when you had to use the trailer how much did you pay the trailer people Yes when well, I was traveling with the bus I paid 1500 shillings and then because of the problem I paid more 15000 1500 shillings again to the trailer so that I can reach where I was going Yeah uh, Was that from uh, Mombasa to Nairobi Yes it, it was from Mutuwande to Nairobi then after the bus break down at Mutito and Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Let's join another traveler. Uh, kindly tell us where you are heading to and uh, what has been your experience. Okay, I was to go to Mombasa yesterday night, but then we were told the ban is effective. So we had to be rearranged to travel today. We used to pay a thousand shillings. Now we are paying double, two thousand. And then another thing we were supposed to leave at nine, it's already ten and uh, there are still no buses buses around to take us to Mombasa yeah now from your estimation uh, if you live here at this particular time it's about uh, 10 minutes past 10 what time will you arrive uh, that would be late maybe we need to plan for accommodation maybe <laughs> midway we are not going to because i i think all buses will be leaving almost at the same time so there'll also be a jam on the route So maybe some of us will have to spend somewhere <laughs> along the road because they are saying that if there is a challenge as you travel as when it gets to 6 in the evening you'll have to look for alternative accommodation yeah thank you very much for your time uh, michelle those are some of the voices of uh, not only travelers but also travel operators or bus service operators are uh, telling us what they are going through especially around this time that uh, NTSA has imposed a travel ban uh, on night long distance travels especially between the hours of 7 p.m. and 6 a.m. back to you Michelle It's uh, quite a, a difficult time for travelers. Mark, just before I let you go, let's just clear this up. What really happens uh, to public service vehicles who are on route but are caught on the road by that 7 p.m. deadline? Now, um, remember we've had a, a similar travel ban back in 2014 where... Um, Uh, travel bans were imposed on long distance uh, travel vehicles but what happened is that some 338 operators went to court and had that ban suspended they were allowed now to operate but what we are seeing is um, uh, an a reoccurrence of uh, accidents especially along the Nairobi Nakuru Eldoret route Uh, the area around Salga, Sachangwan and Miga. Remember we've had a very horrific uh, accident just uh, two days ago where we lost over uh, uh, we lost 36 people and uh, that has uh, 
what we, as regards what we call a knee-jerk reaction where NTSA has uh, imposed the travel ban. And uh, op Matatu operators have been speaking against, or travel uh, uh, operators have been speaking against uh, NTSA directives. They call it a unilateral decision because they say uh, whenever these bans are imposed, there's usually no consultation. So they are still up in arms because it interferes with their uh, normal operations, not only just about the logistics, about getting uh, travelers from point A to point B, but also impacts or digs into their profits. They say some of their vehicles are bought using loans and they cannot be able to fully service those loans because Imposing night travels now makes it uh, very difficult for them to increase their revenues and capitalize, especially on uh, the travels that are usually heightened around uh, the festive season, starting from uh, mid-December all the way to early January. And around this time also we have a lot of uh, movement on the road because we have thousands and thousands of not only students, but we also have ordinary Kenyans moving from up country and those ones coming even from holiday in Mombasa getting back to the city and other parts of the country. Now, um, right now when that uh, travel ban is imposed then it makes things very complicated. Now everyone has to travel during the day and you can imagine the amount of traffic and activity that is during the day. And um, uh, the, the other complicated uh, issue is about the travelers. Usually when you travel from uh, one town to the next, uh, most people do not factor in accommodation charges. Now, if you just have fare from one point to the next and you know during uh, the festive season the fares usually hike, then what are you going to do if you are stranded in a town and uh, the, uh, tr the transport operator tells you we do not have alternative accommodation? So it's a very tricky situation, especially for students and uh, young children moving from uh, home, heading to school and things are looking very complicated for uh, the normal traveller. Michelle. All right, many thanks. Uh, Mark Namaso there joining us live from River Road. It is a situation to continue following up on here on KTN News as a business gets back to normal after the festive season. Now